Meditation is not concentration, meditation is not contemplation, meditation is not about calling for gods. You have only two sources of suffering in your life, your body and your mind. This is accumulation of food, this is accumulation of impressions. What you accumulate, you must be able to keep it aside at some point. Will you keep your body aside only with death or will you do it consciously is the only question. If you do it consciously, you transcend everything that binds you right now. So we created various types of tools. Right now one tool that is being massively distributed around the world is Isha Kriya, Shambhavi Mahamudra, Shunya meditations, Samyama like this. But all these need preparation, all these need some amount of understanding, some amount of involvement. So we created another kind of tool for the larger masses who have no preparation, who don't have the necessary inclination to even prepare. That is the Dhyana Linga. We are sitting right here in front of Dhyana Linga. When I refer to Dhyana Linga as a tool, there are many devotees who get very hurt and they say, Sadhguru, don't call Dhyana Linga a tool. It's more than our life, it has transformed our life, it's the basis of our life. These kind of things are here, but it is a tool. A tool may look like a very mundane description, but we need to understand as human beings, we are who we are on this planet only because of our ability to use tools. You are not even a competition for a dog on the street, please know this, if not for your ability to use tools. You are not a competition for almost any creature on this planet. It is just our ability to use tools which has allowed us to do things that no other creature can do on this planet. So this is the power of a tool. So we created a tool, this is called Dhyana Linga. That means it's a tool to make you meditative. There are seven dimensions to it or it covers all the 114 possibilities and it is catering to everybody without a single word spoken, no instruction. No explanation, no understanding needed. All you have to do is sit in its presence. And its presence is not local in terms of just sitting in the temple, because it's non-physical in its essence. So Dhyana Linga is an energy form catering to every person according to his or her needs to make them or to push them towards becoming meditative. Thousands upon thousands of people have experienced this. They come here thinking they will sit for five, ten minutes, they close their eyes and they're gone for hours. This is simply because this is a tool for meditativeness.